Guilty parties. Dalton wants me to find Imogene and bring her to his office for questioning. I should go to Imogene's office on the operations floor and see if she's there. Well, if she's not there, again, that leans heavily into the guilty verdict. Dalton? Imogene and I have frequent discussions over security, so the request shouldn't raise any red flags. Oh, it's a coat. You got it, Dalton. Um... You have so much work to do. That's good. I'm seeing if anyone has an S. <laughs> nice to see you're still with us. To see if possibly they're the actual person who has been messaging and blackmailing. We're making an effort in our appearance today. You have a very unique look. Why are you talking to me this time? Every other time I've talked to him, nothing has shown up, but now something has. Um, who made you a fashion expert? Someone with a great eye, luxurious taste, and years of people watching at the Astro Lounge. That someone is me, of course. Well, yours is very unique as well, considering we're both black people with facial hair, wearing the same outfit, except yours is more gray. Thank you. I believe appearance to be a point of pride. In the effort of making small talk, I hope you're enjoying your newly gained position. Our operatives are quite the expense, but a necessary one. You're proving to be quite the outlier. Well, I always aim for perfection. We have that in common. I believe I've met my social quota for the day, so I'll be continuing on with my work now. Perhaps we'll chat another time. Sounds about the same. Wow, we have a lot in common, Lyndon. I've reached my social quota for the day, but I have two bosses to check in with. To see if either of them have any new... Oh, are you not in here anymore? Oh no, you are. Masako? I trust you're making progress. Okay, nothing to say. And yes, your computer was... Crouch is like... I normally change it, and for some reason I didn't change it on this. And so, I keep pressing down on the thumbstick. Don't cause any trouble. Okay, I can't talk to you, which again, odd thing. I couldn't talk to Salzo, and something came of it. I'm pretty sure all the vents are locked now. Still want to look around. Let's go to operation. We still haven't gone to research and development either. It could be someone that's in there that is our secret uh, blackmailer. Hey there. Something you need? Okay. I'm a little busy right Sweeney. now. Sweeney. Sweeney has an S. Hate being stuck in the office. Imogene told me she hired another operative. Welcome to the team. I'm April. April also didn't talk to me for some reason for a while. I, I haven't checked in a bit, but when I first started, April wouldn't talk to me. Uh, what does an operative do? I can't speak for what every operative does. Uh, people tend to keep their cards close to the chest in operations. But me personally? I'm a field agent. I specialize in gathering intel that our techs can't get, especially blackmail material on high-profile clients and execs. Most assignments take me to the Astral Lounge or Paradiso. It's an incredible job. Great perks, too. I spend most of my time undercover living in luxury. All right, well, what's it like having Imogene as a boss? 
It's great, as far as I'm concerned. I have a lot of respect for Imogene. She's not afraid to take what she wants. <laughs> and hates paperwork as much as I do. But what I like the most, she trusts us to get things done. None of that micromanaging crap. Okay, so that could be a keeping you guys I'm out of the, the field again soon. Out Push of the me way luck. type thing. Why did I hear an echo? Nothing is on that is generating sound. Oh, come on. This intel could blow up. Hey there. Good to see you again. What is it you do here again? Supply chain manager. I basically keep all our different departments supplied with anything they need to get their jobs done. R&D requests are my favorite since they can be the most challenging, not to mention the most interesting. But almost everything you see in Ryujin Tower went through me at some point. All right, well, how does your role fit into the operations department? Well, technically, everyone in operations is dedicated to supplying the other departments with whatever they need. You operatives, field agents, and technicians alike supply information or get results that our executives use every day to make things happen. I'm just on the more legit side of things. Or the boring side, as some might call it. Do you really think Ryujin Industries is a great company? I wouldn't be here if I didn't, but... That's a bit of a loaded question. When it comes to benefiting the lives of employees and customers, Ryujin's as good as it gets. It's the uh, corporate games that I could do with that. What type of corporate games are you talking about? My parents raised me to believe in hard, honest work. Ryujin has more than its fair share of hard workers. It's the uh, honesty that's questionable. I probably shouldn't get into the details. It's a sensitive topic, and I'd hate to muddy the waters since he just started. We'll go ahead and just do the persuade. This is to make me feel bad, because he's a, one of the good ones, and he's the one that was chosen to be the one we get dirt on. huh? Oh, is that so? Gotta make a four. What's the harm if you help me? Maybe. Need to think about it. Now we're getting somewhere. I'm still willing to talk. All right, fine. You'll learn all about this sooner or later, so why not now? Ryujin Industries has some deeply embedded ties to Administrator Bayu, so he has a somewhat profound influence in the corporation. One word from Bayu could get you hired or fired. I'm probably not even aware of the amount of favors owed between both parties. But his influence is far from honest. If I had it my way, hard work is what would get you ahead here. Not the word of someone who's morally bankrupt. And I do agree with that. I don't Another like day. Bayou. I really wish he wasn't immortal. I never went to the break Don't wander room. into any restricted areas. I better do this right. I don't want Yuko breathing down my neck about it. It's just a generic operative. The only other person here is, uh... It's not Try not to harass my text you. too much. Oh, it is They have work Rafik. to do. Alright. I didn't even look to see if she was here. Let me guess. Looking for Imogene? Oh, I didn't even see you there. This is the Yuko person we've heard about but haven't met. Yuko Serrano. I'm sure you can tell by now. She isn't here. Which is a shame since I have several documents I need her to sign off on. She's always been the master of avoiding desk work. You're the mysterious S. You're the blackmailer. Mm -hmm. I can just tell by your face. 
I could be wrong, and I need to really stop guessing in these games and situations, but I feel like it's you. I like how you in you avoided the interview process. There are work skills and there are life skills. I can't help it if I have both. When did you last see Imogene? She hasn't stepped into the office since the maintenance closure. Probably abusing her paid time off again. I know for a fact she doesn't have any external meetings or business trips. Well, I don't blame her. Desk work feels like a waste of time. Well, that desk work is what keeps your cred stick full and this company two steps ahead. So why are you looking for Imogene? Is she in trouble? The way she said that again. Nah. It's confidential. Take it up with Dalton. Yeah, no thanks. Getting information out of Dalton is like talking to a wall. Besides, speculation is far more fun. I have Imogene's last location at Frankie's Grab and Go, which we all know is a front for the Sioka Syndicate. You'll want to get executive sign off if you plan on chasing after her. I'd say Dalton is your best bet. Frankie's Grab and, gra grab and Go is a front for the Siko Siku Syndicate? Didn't I do a quest for her? Is there an echo in the room? Yeah. Frankie's is a front. Crap convenience store on the outside, high-tech hideout on the inside. Of course, the only people that really know that are Ryujin, Bayou, and the Syndicate itself. Well, what do you, what do you think she's doing in Syndicate territory? Your guess is as good as mine. But she's up to something. I could tell she was trying to cover her tracks, but this is my job. And there's a reason I'm in charge of the technicians here. All right, I'll speak to Dalton about it. Good. I'd hate to see what sort of drama might get stirred up if you went around him. Or maybe I'd love it. Keep the workplace interesting, right? <laughs> Good luck finding Imogene. Oh, and if you do catch up with her, be sure to let her know I had everything to do with it. Yuko told me Imogene was last seen at Frankie's Grab and Go, but she strongly suggested I speak to Dalton before trying to find her. Optional, talk to Dalton, or I could just go straight to find her. Why well, always do optional objectives? I'm serious about talking to Dalton. The man might lose his mind if he went into Frankie's without permission. Well, I know Frank. Again, that's if it's the store I remember. Actually, now that I think about it, it might not be, but I think it is. Can you tell me more about the Sekoa, uh, the Sekseku Syndicate? The Syndicate is probably the biggest gang here in Neon, controlled by Benjamin Bayou himself. Of course, that's not a widely known fact. Most of the Syndicate only know him as an anonymous figurehead. We've used them on occasion ourselves. They're helpful when it comes to tying up loose ends or if you need a few extra guarantees. All right, well, how do I get to Frankie's Grab and Go? Head to Bayou Plaza and go down the alley by Enhance. Once you see sleep crates, hang a left and you're there. So besides pissing him off, what would happen if I didn't tell Dalton? If you dove right into the Syndicate's hideout, those consequences are going all the way up to Misako. They aren't just some random street gang, like the Strikers or Disciples. They have ties to Bayou, which means they have ties to us. I was a member of the Disciples once. So, why are you keeping an eye on Imogene? So you can blackmail her? Hey, we're talking here. I think of it as a hobby. What better way to keep my skills sharp than tracking Imogene? 
But before you go getting jealous, you should know by now that my team keeps an eye on pretty much everyone. Especially those within operations. What do you expect when you specialize in sabotage? Well, do you think Imogene feels the same way about you? Of course she does. Because she's good at her job. That's why I respect her. Isn't sabotage what you specialize in, too? Touché. To be frank, I don't expect anyone here to trust me either. And if they did, they wouldn't last long. Trust can lead to a carelessness that we can't afford. Well, I'd think at least Imogene would be trusted here. Imogene, like myself, is trusted for one thing and one thing only. To get results. Time and dedication don't mean much around here. And loyalty? Even less. Well, I feel thoroughly distracted now. Let's hope I can still get some work done today. I think of it as a hobby. But before you go getting... Especially the... It kicked me out of the dialogue for some reason. I guess that was the end of that dialogue thing. Yeah, because these all have the same answer, huh? Well, it's the right call. I don't trust... No, I'm not going to say that. It's a shame you don't trust your employees more. Yeah, it's a real pity, considering what the job entails. Besides, it's not up to me. It's policy. Yeah, I guess I should have realized... That's why it kicked me out of the dialogue tree, was because... She was done talking. Okay. Make it quick. I have a deadline. A gala at the New Atlantis Freed Star Embassy. You about to dump a quest telling me to go to the gala into my inventory? No. No, you're not. That's good. It's nice of you. Taking a break. No, it's just seeing if you had anything to say about it. Let's head to operations. Or uh, executive offices. We were in operations. So there's no stairs on this side? Of course not. It's fine. I got my own <laughs> stairs. Hey, buddy. No Imogene, I see. Could she really be on to us already? How would Im Imogene know she was a suspect? A good question. But with her abilities and connections, the possibilities are too many to speculate on right now. We need to find her first and address that issue afterward. Well, you go said she was last seen at Frankie's grab-and-go. Of course, Yuko would know. If Imogene's with the Syndicate, I can't just send you after her. You'll need to speak with Benjamin Bayou. We have to make sure he's aware of the situation. If we're lucky, he may even help us get to Imogene. Okay, I don't want to talk to him. I absolutely hate him. Uh, why do I need to talk to, to Bayou first? Bayou owns the Sioka Syndicate. For you to walk in there without discussing it with him first could be seen as a violation of our business relationship. I'll make sure he's aware and get his cooperation. Good. Because without it, this adds a complexity that we do not have time for. Head over to the Trade Tower, and be discreet. Let Bayou know that you're there on Ryujin's behalf. He may ask for credits, or even a favor. Just give him what he wants. I have my limits. What kind of favors are we talking about? Uh, it shouldn't be for anything unfamiliar. Bayou is a businessman. Any favor he may request wouldn't be far off from the assignments you've already completed here. 
Okay, sounds good. I probably won't do it, depending on what it is. Whatever it takes, I'll get to Imogene. The sooner, the better. We don't want to give a clever mind like hers any more room than we have to. Just be sure to bring her back here in one piece. If she's truly the mole, she'll have a lot to answer to. If she resists or tries to run, we have no choice but to take it as an admission of guilt. I'm afraid you'll have to dispose of her. All right, isn't that a little extreme? Can't we just get law enforcement involved? Obviously, no, but okay. Matters like these are handled within the corporation. The information we're dealing with is too sensitive for law enforcement, and their security leaves much to be desired. It wouldn't be long before the information was either leaked to the press or sold to yet another competitor. Okay, well, understood. Killing her seems hasty. She may not have acted on her own. The risk of Imogene continuing to operate as a traitor is too high. If we don't dispose of her now, she could cause a great deal of harm to this company. She knows the consequences of betraying Ryujin, which makes her dangerous. If the situation does take a turn for the worst, I only ask that you perform a thorough search for any evidence she may have in her possession. I trust you won't let your past relationship cloud your judgment. I probably will. I like her better than anyone else I've met here at this company. So, yeah. Mm, Dalton wants me to speak to Benjamin Bayou before I enter Frankie's Grab and Go to find Imogene. Since Bayou has ties to Sekugo, Seku, whatever, I always forget it, Syndicate. And Frankie's is a syndicate territory. It's important to get his approval. I, I don't think it is. I run you know, this I'm planet. Trying to feel welcome up here. Or I will once I get to dispose of him. Can I get rid of the whole council? They're all bad people. So it's not that I, I'm uh, wanting to be a dictator. It's just Ron Hope was terrible. Benjamin's terrible. I'm... I think they're the only two board members I've met, and I hate both of them, and I've gotten to kill one, so. This better teleport me inside the Astral Lounge. It doesn't. It literally puts you right in front of the door. So you get a double... I mean, it was a quicker loading screen, but you just get a double loading screen. Okay, hello. Okay, Take hello. Easy. I, I will. Take it easy. I'm trying to remember which direction Bayou is. I think Get out he's... of my face. You want to gawk at something? Take it to the Astral Lounge. I think he's this side. Ben. I don't recall sending for anyone. What do you want? Would saying Dalton's name get Dalton in trouble? I don't know. I'm here to tell you, or to give you a heads up on Ryujin's behalf, because he did tell me to tell him that it's on Ryujin's behalf. I'm heading into the Syndicate's hideout. A heads up? You're telling me you're heading into my own territory? That's not how this works. First, you tell me why. And then if I'm satisfied, I'll graciously grant you permission. Well, I will graciously not put a bullet in your skull. We're after a suspect who's fled to the Syndicate to hide. As long as it doesn't involve the Syndicate members themselves, 
I'll tell you what. I'll make sure the Syndicate lets you in hassle-free, provided you do a little something for me. So, we'll hit him with that Persuade. I think the mutual benefit should be enough. And what mutual benefit would that be? I don't kill you. That's the mutual benefit. We need to make a four. A small gesture of good faith now could have a lot of weight later. This is starting to sound like my kind of deal. All right. You talk a good game. And I suppose if we're looking at a mutually beneficial situation, there's no reason for me not to allow such a small favor. Check in with Ms. Moore at Frankie's. I'll send word along that you're to be expected, so she shouldn't give you any trouble. Fair warning, the Syndicate should let you search any common areas, but if anyone catches you snooping around private quarters, I'll just say, be prepared for some hostilities. So it didn't look like there was an option for him to give me a quest. Not a quest, but like a, a favor or objective. Both of the two options that weren't a perception check seemed like they were nothing. But there was most likely one program there. I just didn't notice it. You spilled something. As soon as I walk away, you're going to make a comment, right? No? Good. Keep that mouth shut. I don't like the security guards here. They're so annoying. Anywhere, not just here, specifically. All security guards everywhere. They're comments. Like, I'm a ranger, and the rangers around the town are still like, don't steal anything. I work for Ryujin, and the people around town are still like, don't steal anything. You work here. Ever don't, run into spacers? Don't go anywhere that you're not allowed to go, even though you're allowed to walk around freely. People joke, say those Varunes, that Let's head on into, to, I was gonna say Freeside. Let's head on into Freeside. All right, it's been a bit. Let's do a quickie. So it was this store. So I've done a quest for her before. Hey, you're still here. Uh, sorry, kind of busy here. I'm a little busy right now. As long as you're safe, Billy. You weren't in here before. Gangs think they run this city, but I don't see people building statues of them. Shuichi Kamamatsu. You're bothering me. I don't care. I bother who I want. Sorry about that. Then leave. What do you do for work around here? I work the warehouses. Clock in, clock out, mind my business. Gangs leave me alone. You should too. Is there a reason you're sh so short with people? It's one of my rules and it served me well. Besides, you don't want to talk to me. Fact is, I'm not a good man. Best keep your distance. Okay. You have a set of rules you live by? Yeah. Keep things short. Don't drink on the job. Drink every minute after. Never play cards with a street rat. Don't love what you can't respect. That's all I got. <laughs> Anything more would break the first rule. Alright. You're not a good man. No. I'm not. care to elaborate not particularly I see yeah I bet you do <laughs> later <laughs> all right tough guy <laughs> oh sorry dude you're not very intimidating um I guess I'm just not an easy person to intimidate because I just don't care about a lot of things Gotta I'm have a credits to spend Days are too short. Life is too long. Alright. For 
Cheska, remember me? What'll it be? Don't act all like that. We've met before. I did a quest for you. I'm here on Ryujin's behalf. I was told I'm allowed inside. Oh, you're the one getting special treatment. <laughs> I knew you were some sort of trouble. I've got one rule for you in there, so it shouldn't be hard to remember. Third floor is off limits. They catch you snooping around, and it's open season. Okay. Are you a member of the Syndicate? I'm more of an honorary member. I let them take up residence in the back, keep things looking legit. They keep this business afloat, so finances don't keep me up at night. All right, well, is that some sort of threat? It ain't a threat if it's a rule, now is it? I guess that makes sense. Uh, I'll steer, I'll steer clear of the third floor. That's what I like to hear. For the record, I'm only granting you access because I have to. You'll find that young lady you're looking for holed up in a room almost straight ahead. Just remember to keep your eyes on the prize. The less you consider this an open house, the better. Drink. So you know why I'm here. Does have this the key card? Oh, that immediately happens. How's everything with you? I'm doing great, actually. Thanks for asking. I honestly. Oh, wait, was that part of the quest? I completed something by grabbing that, and I don't know what it was. Oh well. Who are you? You're just a citizen. Okay. Security door control. Obviously, behind the cooler is where they keep their uh, criminals. Pray into your brain, God. So, the dude beat up kids, I guess that they're trying to force me to play my hand and want to kill these guys. Which I do. Don't get me wrong. But by having that conversation when you first enter and finding out, oh, they, uh, at least one of them assaulted a child, they're really trying to make you pull the trigger. Which... Syndicate Kingpin, f level 50. I don't even know what level I am, to be fair. But the thing is, and it's kind of a sad thing, a lot of people don't care much for children. 
Sure, shaking down. So Shabu. that's it's not good. going to entice but them. I'm just waiting for him to try and resist. To do anything, right? I'm watching you. Well, at least a lot of people claim they don't care about children. That's where it wants me to go. Really? Is this the hitman? Why don't you put your weapon away, friend? And we can talk about this. Put yours away first. I knew you were holding out on me. Look, they'll kill us both if they find out we didn't bring any back to the boss. How about we all just shut up about it and now split it evenly among us? No one else has to know. I knew it. But you've got a deal. We say nothing to no one. Well, I overheard it, and so did everyone downstairs. But, um, good on ya. Good on ya. I should probably quick save in here, huh? Because all they said was don't go on the second floor, but can I explore places? No funny business. <laughs> oh, you don't mind if I take this. Combat Tech, Catalog 1. Magazines are, of course, always able to be taken. Return of the Interceptor. Come in this fall. The studio that brought you, The Interceptor, brings you the sequel. Wow, that's crazy that they do that. Is that the name, or is it like the name of the person, or the name of the movie? The other side of the Narian War. Gangsters. Should be a hitman somewhere. Is this where um that vent led to? Oh, this gets me onto the third floor. Okay, because I'm I'm betting I'm gonna have to go onto the third floor. They're not just gonna have a third floor there and not let me get on it. Okay, that needs to be picked. You try anything, you're dead. Are you that bad of a chef? <laughs> Got him. Okay, that leads up to the third floor, which we can't go to. So let's go ahead and head back. According to my thing, she's supposed to be over here, right? I finally made it inside the, uh, the Syndicate hideout. I need to find Imogene and bring her back to Ryujin Industries for questioning. I figured our paths would cross sooner or later. Not that I thought I was safe, but I never expected anyone to just slip by all the Syndicate here. Well, I found Imogene in the Syndicate's hideout. I need to confront her about being the mole and bring her to Dalton. That's my end of dungeon trunk right there. I've read both of these. Oh, I accidentally stole your Oliver Twist. 
I didn't want it. Cred stick is free. Frankenstein I've already read, and that's a novice lock safe. What is this room? All right, Emma, Imogene. I had a feeling you'd be the one to come after me. How did you even know about the investigation? You stay in this business long enough, you get enough favors and connections that can help you see anything coming. Nix owed me a favor and gave me the heads up. Sorry, I had to pause that one a little longer because, of course, 4th of July is coming up, so fireworks are going to be going off for the next two weeks. What the hell's going on? Are you really working for the Infinity LTD? Yes, and no, but mostly no. Just hear me out, okay? Yeah, you've got some explaining to do. I know this doesn't look good, but I had no choice. Ularu set me up. Yes, I've been acting as a double agent, but because she ordered me to. The assignment was meant to deceive, not benefit. And Project Dominion is way above my pay grade. It'd be impossible for me to deliver it, at least intentionally. Okay, so I knew you were being betrayed. I don't think it's Ularu, I still think it's y y Yoku, Yuko. You think Ularu did this? Of course. But first you have to understand, she used me to play an unwitting part in this, so I'm the one that takes the fall. That's why I said it'd be impossible for me to intentionally pull this off. Well, how can I believe anything you say? I'm not the one with motive here. First, I'm not about to reboot my life. Second, I'm not spending the rest of my life looking over my shoulder for the next field op they'd send after me. All right, well, intentionally, help me understand what you're saying. Look, I only know about Project Dominion because I wanted to know exactly what I was being accused of leaking. But that tech is dangerous. An internal neuroamp that can theoretically control other people? If the evidence points to me, it's because Ularu used it to set me up. What better way to frame someone than to take control of their mind and have them actually perform the actions? Why would Ularu set you up? Because she knows I'm the most believable target. I'm the only one at Ryujin with the skills to even come close to being able to pull off a job like this. What would Ularu's motive be? Power, of course. Corporations maintain their success by any means necessary, but there are some measures Masako is reluctant to take. You may have noticed that none of your assignments directly involve murder. Masako reserves those actions only when it's absolutely necessary. Ularu sees this as a sign of weakness that needs to be dealt with. You do have a good point. I still trust her. She's still the one I like the most. So I don't think it's her. You have a good point. It's the only scenario that makes sense. Besides, what's my motive? My career is solid at Ryujin. Infinity can't possibly beat my current benefits. Believe me, after having to play double agent, I've learned all of this firsthand. So you're saying Ularu made you do all of this and you didn't even know? Yes, it's what the technology does and it explains why the evidence against me is so solid. Come to think of it. It also explains a few strange bouts of disorientation I've been having the past few months. You don't, though. You don't have a Neuralink like everyone else has one. You don't have one. Hmm. Well, if this is all true, you need evidence to prove it. That's exactly what I've been doing here. Ularu has the skill to pull this off, but she's also been behind the desk for years now. I knew she'd miss something. This slate holds all the evidence against her. 
I just need you to deliver it to Dalton. It's the only way I can prove I'm innocent. Wouldn't Nyx have just told Dalton all of this? Well, what makes this evidence more believable than data Nyx provided? Nyx's contract limits his investigation to Ularu's computer and her network activity. I hacked into building security and was able to recover deleted records of her accessing the Project Dominion prototype. I guarantee the third-party company Dalton is using for his security directive Theta won't even notice it. All right. Well, I'll make sure Dalton gets this evidence. I was hoping you would. I'm still going to lay low until I hear the coast is clear. As long as Ularu still thinks I'm on the run, she'll remain confident that her plan is working. And I know you don't hear it much around the office, but thanks. This also leads to a kind of an issue with the game. When I was no longer able to talk to Imogene, that's because she was going to play a bigger I believe I didn't see this coming. Bigger role in this quest line. I was now not able to talk to Ularu, and now Ularu is playing a much bigger role in this quest line. So that kind of gives it away if you're someone like me who wants to talk to all the different characters. I always believed that Ularu thought of me as her protege, but all this time I was just a scapegoat. If Dalton doesn't believe you're the evidence, what will you do? If Dalton really believes I'm involved in this, then I'm on the run. I hate the idea of uprooting my life, but I'd have no choice at that point. And Ulara will probably send every operative she believes capable after me. All right. So what are your thoughts on Project Dominion? Extremely dangerous and way too powerful for human consumption. Obviously, the benefits to Ryujin would be infinite, but as Ularu herself has proven, no one should be trusted with that kind of power. What do you think Ularu's plan is? Ularu wants Masako gone, but she doesn't have a legitimate reason to get the board to fire her. Instead, Ularu creates the very situation we're in now to make her look bad. The board sees Masako as a risk and votes her out. And, with the Project Dominion prototype at her disposal, Ularu can guarantee they'll make her the next CEO. Okay, or, better plan, if this was Ularu's whole plan, use her Project Dominion to take control of the board of the universe, or whatever they are, and then she's in control of the whole universe. Who am I? Who am I? By the way, Yuko wanted me to let you know that she's the one who gave me your location. Are you even li- Oh, great. That'll be just what I need if this all blows over. Let's just hope she keeps her mouth shut on this one. The last thing I need is to be the highlight of office gossip when I get back. Well, that, and she'll never let me forget it. Alright, sounds good. Don't get killed while I'm gone. I'm going to trust I can come back here later. This is already pushing 40 minutes. So I don't want to... want to do too much. Again, why is there just random items on the floor? That's... Upside's changed. Yeah, I think it's just you, actually. Uh, oh, wait, you're a store, right? I have some sleep crate units available for rent, but someone like you. 
Yeah, I know. I've already bought those. Hold on. I hope this means you finished your business. No, I don't care. I'll sell the junk I have afterwards. I forgot I picked up some stuff. Oh, she did talk to me, though. Hold on. Hold on. Did she have any other extra dialogue? I gotta take care of you. Hope you're a paying customer. No, she didn't. Have it your way. Her only dialogue was to tell me that I concluded my business, which, yeah, yeah, did. I did do that. Okay, well that is also useless as a teleporting method. Because it, it marks all of the civilians in your path. So you can't do anything. I do have the option, though. I'll read it again once I get up here. Not read it again. I didn't read it. But I saw it. Oh, now Yuko is here. On my way to Dalton, I ran into Yuko. I could give her an update on my current assignment if I feel like talking to her or continue on to Dalton or Ularu. goes here why is you go here well look who's back so tell me what did you find out i don't trust her so i'm not going to tell her everything you didn't have anyone spying on me to find out yourself inside the syndicate that area is off limits and i think we both know why imogene knew exactly what she was doing when she went there all right well what's the information worth to you <laughs> if you think I'm paying for that information, think again. It's just a matter of time before it finds its way onto my desk. And I can be a very patient person. So, yeah, I don't want to tell her. So, uh, you'll have to ask Dalton after my report. <sighs> I had a feeling you'd say that. Enjoy your time with Dalton. It'll all trickle back to me sooner or later. Interesting chat, Op. I'll look forward to seeing the results. Well, that's because she was supposed to use the elevator, but I I went to pickpocket her. This could so be it the didn't most work. important meeting. So life. she's just walking face down into an, a, a wall. I just want to see if she had anything on her. And I, I was not the Eugen CEO happy. Is not to open the okay, the optional objective is to go to Ularu. So we're going to do that first. Keep out of my way and I'll keep out of yours. Is there something I can help you with? I'm here to give you a chance to come clean before I tell Dalton you're the mole. <laughs> Excuse me? Let me close this door before you say anything else you might regret. Just a moment. I can't move, so I don't know what she's doing. Shutting the door and engaging locks. You, do you always dictate what you're doing out loud? That's better. And that's quite the story you just threw in my face. Not to mention a serious accusation. And just where is this absurd notion coming from? Well, I mean... You wouldn't lock the doors and threaten me. I'm assuming that's what's coming next. If it wasn't true. So... Let's persuade. Are you really going to play this game? Just admit you're the mole. Is this a game? I wasn't aware. Need to beat an eight. 
You're only delaying the inevitable. Uh, that would only be the case if your accusation held any merit. Dang. Well, that hurt. Plus three persuasion. Uh, plus three with persuasion. Come on. It's such an elaborate plot. Aren't you dying to let someone in on it? It is a horrible thing when such well-made plans can't be shared. And I can't get enough from either of these two options. So I'm just going to auto-persuade because it's banked up and if I don't use it, I can't build another one. Oh, will you? If you only knew the number of truths we corporations hide on a daily basis, perhaps you'd rethink that statement. Oh, I thought the auto just fully completed the whole thing. I guess it doesn't. Uh, it could just be our little secret. No one else has to know. Oh, sure. And I just take your word for it. I don't think so. Looks like someone's been brushing up on their corporate skills. Fine. Since it's just you and me here, I'll come clean. I leaked Project Dominion to Infinity LTD. But I'm no mole. Well, if you're not a mole, what are you? A double agent? Please. It's insulting that you think I'd actually be working for someone other than Ryujin or myself. All right. Well, I knew only someone at the top could leak it. Whatever you call yourself, it all boils down to traitor for me. The only traitor to speak of here is Masako. You see, I'm not a mole. I'm an opportunist. And no one is more loyal to Ryujin than I am. Masako, on the other hand, is losing her touch. Ryujin needs strong leadership for what lies ahead. A CEO who can make the hard decisions. Me. If this was Elder Scrolls game, it would be me. And then I become the leader. Because that's, that's literally every um, one of their, uh, whatever you call them group things. I don't remember the name. I can't think of it at the moment. Is this all about Masako? Why frame Imogene? It was never my intent to involve Imogene. But when you arrived with information on Project Dominion, I knew Infinity had screwed up. I had no choice but to act fast. Imogene is the only one that Dalton and the others would believe was capable of pulling this off. It had to be her. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. Uh, if you're so loyal, why did you leak Project Dominion to Infinity? It's all part of my plan. But don't worry. Infinity LTD will never be able to complete Vina's work. I made sure of that. What did you do to Vina? What do you mean by hard decisions? What do you think? If someone was a threat to your family, would you be satisfied waiting for them to strike? Of course not. You'd eliminate the threat before it had a chance to act. In some cases, before it even realized what it was capable of. Oh, sh sure. Um... Well, Masako wouldn't be a CEO without being able to make hard decisions. Back then, hard decisions were all about screwing people over and white-collar crime. Today, they're more about ensuring success, by any means necessary. So, now that you know, it's time to see how good you are at making hard decisions. With your help, I can take down Masako and make the credits worth your while. So whose side are you on? Masako's or Ryujin's? I mean, this isn't a hard decision. For me, at least. All I get from you is credits? I'm rich in the game. <laughs> Means better job security than I'm on your side. No, I mean, Misako's side is Ryujin's side, and that's the side I'm on. Well, it seems we're at an impasse now. I don't think so. I don't suppose I could 
ask you or convince you to stop what you're doing? The only way you stop me from carrying out my plans to depose Masako is to kill me. You could try to get me fired, but that only delays my plans. Face it, this isn't a game you can win. Uh, you said all I gotta do is kill you. Well, I'm heading... I'm handing you over to Dalton. You can answer to Masako herself. Go ahead. I guarantee any evidence you have is circumstantial at best. I've created the perfect scapegoat in Imogene. It'd be your word against mine, and I'm pretty sure the odds are in my favor. I mean, you already screwed up once. I'll get the evidence I need. I admit, I misjudged Infinity LTD's level of competency. If only I'd have gone to see Simon myself, we wouldn't even be having this conversation. But I've learned from that mistake. So good luck. You won't find a thing. Did you unlock your door so I can leave, or...? You don't mind if I just jump on this real quick? that it, it goes back to the top. And you didn't have a... Oh, you do have a save. I don't think you'll have anything in the safe that I need to complete this. Oh, you had nothing of use in there. Anything else? This won't end well for you. I think I'm fine. The only thing is, I don't want you leaving. Don't I've let got my eye on you. Don't let her leave. Masaka's not in her office. I've got my eye on you. That's cool. Do me a solid and not let your boss leave her office? They're gonna let her escape because I didn't choose to kill her. Hey, Dalton! You're back. And Imogene? I mean, U Ularu played you all. Imogene's in innocent. I suppose you suddenly have all the facts now. This explanation better be good. I have a mind to fire you just for that comment. I have a mind to fire on you just for that comment. But your your comment, not mine. Did you consider how the mole could you oh, I don't know if that'll See this needs labeling what progress it because if I say this, can I still give him the slate? I don't know, because the game doesn't tell me if I can. Well, this can prove Imogene's innocence, and Ularu herself confessed. I find it hard to believe Ularu would take the chance to incriminate herself. But if this slate provides indisputable evidence to corroborate your story, well, that's enough proof for me. It will be a relief to reinstate Imogene as well. Now, I need to undertake the laborious task of writing up a report to summarize all of this. In the meantime, Masako has requested your presence in R&D. 
She wants you to meet her in Vinacara's office. Could you at least go and arrest temporarily? Howie? I just noticed he looks kind of like Howie Mandel. Um, can you tell me anything about Vina Car Calra? Vina's the head of our research and development team. She's the creator of Project Dominion, and often considered the protege of Ray de Caris, Ryujin's founder. All right, well, how do I get to Vina's office in R&D? Just take the elevator down to research and development. You'll find Dr. Kara's office to your left as you enter the floor. You'll find that it's the only office. Any idea what Masako wants to talk about? Wants to talk to me about? Probably about how she suspects that it's... Ularu. I forgot her name. Masako's been focusing on how to deal with Infinity LTD and their knowledge of Project Dominion. I believe her plans rely heavily on you. Well, I don't like Project Dominion. Well, good. I'll let you deal with all this mole business. Don't get shot. <laughs> Not that I enjoy it. But I wouldn't trust anyone but myself with these reports as it is. Now finish his guilty parties.